this quick video tutorial where I'm going to demonstrate two different ways that you can provide multimedia feedback to students inside of a Google document. One is to use audio and one will be using video. So let's get into the audio feature first. So the tool that I'm going to demonstrate for this one is called Moat. It's a Google Chrome extension. And what Moat lets you do is insert a comment and in the margin and where your comment would typically appear in text, the, top, the comment can now appear in audio form. If your students have the mode extension installed, they can play the audio feedback directly into the document. If they don't have it installed, they can click to open up the note and play it back on the web. So this is what it looks like. If I wanted to provide my students some feedback right here, I'll just highlight and insert a comment as I normally would. And you can see now that I have the mode extension installed, I'm able to begin recording. So I'll tap on mode. So now I'm providing audio feedback directly to my student. This could be a really helpful way to give them some feedback where they can hear the tone and intention of my comments that might translate better in a remote environment over a standard text comment. So now I'm done with the comment, it's processing, and it's going to pop up once it's done processing as a little playable audio file. I'll click comment, and there's the file. Let's play it back to test it out. So now I'm providing audio feed. There you go. So let's take a look at it from the student view as well. So from the student perspective, here I am role playing the student. I'm in the document. I can see the comment by my teacher. And because the student has the moat extension installed as well, they're able to play it back. And like I said, if they don't have the extension, they can click to play that on the web. So there's one approach to providing feedback. So I'm just going to clear this comment. Now, another one that I really like is providing video feedback. So to provide video feedback, I like using Screencastify just because of the ease of use where the screen recording will automatically save over to your Google Drive account. Of course, you could do this with Loom, QuickTime, or any screen recorder that you're comfortable using. So let me show you this process. I open up the student's document and I'm ready to provide some video feedback on their writing. So I'm gonna tap on Screencastify. And I'm going to do a browser tab with my microphone and I'll turn off my webcam, but you could leave that on if you want to. And now I'll hit record. So now with my inking tools in the bottom left hand corner, not only am I able to ink on the screen, but I can highlight and just generally provide feedback in a video form that the student might like um, kind of engaging with over text comments. So here I'll just circle this. Um, error that I'd like them to fix. Hey, Greg, so can you consider reworking this sentence? A little bit of a mistake here with um, uh, the language that you chose. Let me just wipe that recording. What we can also do as well is I'll go to the highlighter tool. So now I might talk about this specific area or the conclusion down here and just provide feedback in any way that's going to be helpful for my student. Now, when I'm done with this, here's the way that we can get this back to them quickly and easily. I'm going to stop the recording. So here's the Screencastify recording that I just created. Now I'll wait for that to process and send up to Google Drive. And once that's, put, once that's pushed to Google Drive, all I have to do is copy the shareable link. So now that link has been copied. I'll jump back to the student document and I have a few options. I can drop it right into the document Watch my feedback here. That could absolutely work. What I can also do is maybe insert a little comment in the margin, right? So I'll paste the feedback. And then what I can also do is at mention the student and then assign a task to them so they'll get a notification that I've left video feedback. So please watch my video feedback. And I'll assign this out to the student. And there's the link for them to pop open the video feedback. I've notified them with that kind of at mention in the user. And now I can provide them with some really targeted feedback. So those are just re two really quick options. Again, one is to use Moat, which is a voice commenting tool, a Google Chrome extension that works in docs and slides. Or another option is to use Screencastify to provide video feedback. So good luck providing multimedia feedback to your students.